in this tutorial we are going to create. No, today we are going to learn Graph Editor in After Effects. Hello world! Welcome to AB Animation Studios After Effects tutorial. Let's learn together. Okay, many of you have question like, how this animations are so smooth, like the starting and ending effect. How to do it? No worries, we have the solution. Let's see the different types of graph first, so you will get the clear view of graphs. So to see the graph view, press this graph icon here. If you are a shortcut expert, then press Shift plus F3. This is the graph editor in After Effects. Now it's empty. So I am just going to give a small demonstration with this ellipse. First we will animate this ellipse, a simple animation. Select all ellipse layer, and press P to see the position. Now create a keyframe by, pressing this stopwatch. So if you want to create keyframe for all layers please don't forget to select all layers. This will save lots of your time. To make the animation complete, move this ellipses to up like this. So our simple animation is done now. I am just playing this to see how this animation looks. See it's too slow and animation is flat, it's time to do some magic in this. Let's do it. I will show you the difference in this comp only, so you can easily understand the difference. First I will show the graph for this layer. Select the keyframe then only you can see the graph. To see graph editor press this icon. This is the graph of the selected layer. If you are not able to see this kind of graph, then right click in this graph editor and select edit speed graph. See this graph will represent the flat animation. The start and the end point is flat. Ok, now we go back and see the second type. Press the same icon to go back. Now select this layer and apply easy ease F9. Check the animation now. You can see the difference now. See the layer without easy ease starting bit faster. But this layer is starting in a smooth way and it's settling smoothly. But both are in same values. Just easy ease. What will be the graph for this easy ease layer? Come let's check that. Okay, see this time graph is not flat. It looks like a small curved mountain right? See. One single press is changing your animation. So if you have a question like can we edit this graph? Yes. You can do it. So we are going to edit this curved or mountain graph in our third, fourth and fifth examples. That can give more smoothness. Let's check that. Apply the F9 to this layer and go to graph editor. Ok, now we are going to edit this graph like this. Select this end point, so you will get this handle. Just move the handle inside. Like this. Let's check the animation. See the smoothness. So what we told to After Effects is while starting its need to be fast and while finishing its need to be smooth. So now we are going to do the same, but in opposite way. Like do the same thing. And in graph, we are going to move the start point handle to inside like this. Check the animation. See now it's starting slowly and finishing faster. So this will be very useful for you guys. You can use this technique in your works like text animation, image slideshows, logo intro and more. So now we are going to see, what will happen. If we move both handles inside. See it's starting slowly in middle it's get fast and again it's getting slow. So guys, these are the major graph which I am using in my work. If you know any new in this, please share in comment box. So we can learn more. Before leaving this video I will show you two more techniques. First one is if you want to reset the easy ease animation into flat. The simplest way is just select the keyframes which you need to reset. And press the selected keyframe by holding control like this. See it's too simple. Ok, second one is this option can be useful in your fast kinetic topography videos. 
I am going to do some random animation. Once your animation is done, apply F9 Easy Ease and go to Graph Editor and select all keyframes like this and press this button. So this will make like this kind of animation. Okay guys, hope you like this video and learned something new from this. Please share this video if you liked it. And three more things, give a thumbs up and press the red button to subscribe and press that small bell icon to get notifications. Okay, time to leave. We'll catch you with the new tutorial. Have a good time.